Hello everyone and welcome to another Match Analysis Monday. My name is Swiss and for this week I made a tweet where I will be looking at your guys' clips that you guys have submitted. We have about 48 clips submitted so we'll check them out. Not all of them but we'll check them out and uh, see what's available and uh, what good clips and combos and setups you guys have. So if you like the content, like and subscribe. Other than that, let's go ahead, let's dive right in and let's check them out. All right, so we have about 48 clips. Now, we're not going to go through all of them. Uh, some people posted more than one. I probably should have been a little bit more specific. I was just looking for uh, one clip from each person. Uh, some people posted one clip or like longer videos. So uh, we won't get to all of them uh, just as a reference, but I, I will make sure to watch all of them off, you know, when I'm not recording or anything like that. So uh, first things first, we have DJ. Uh, it says... Lex, lol, you still won more than I did. Uh, Lex is also a very good snake player too, and uh, DJ is a good snake player as well, and he's the blue snake. So let's check this out. All right, Nikita, dash attack. Okay, neutral air to call out the landing and the forward air. Nice, good read on the forward air. Uh, very basic, nothing too crazy here. Just good reads all together. Like he read, he read him landing with the neutral air. Uh, read the up B option and then went for the went for the up B. I mean for the fair. Very nice. Then we'll watch another one from him as well. All right. Forward air up tilt. Grenade into up air. And that's pretty much it. So obviously the the forward air up tilt's a true combo. Um, and then he he was shielding the grenade and then this other snake player decided to try to land with the down air um not a good option um because even if he like he did connect the down air if there wasn't a grenade here uh dj could just f till him um for doing that but uh, he gets the grenade to explode into the up air which also is a true combo very nice this one's only five seconds let's look at it <laughs> all right so the nikita was already active and he got hit by the by the c4 and in doing so the nikita will just stay on its trajectory and he landed right on it unfortunate you hate to see it all right now we got one from specter don't know what this guy was thinking with that rest i was at zero percent so Let's see what happens. Down tilt. Up smash. Nair's going through the up smash, of course. The stick. Gets slept on. Back throw. Grenade into the Nikita. That was really good. And I'm going to tell you why. It was good. So, most snake players, you know, we're going to look for, like, you know, sticky back throw C4 or, like, grenade into fair or whatever, like, or up smash into detonate after the sticky back throw detonate, etc. So, like, those are, like, the main stuff or main things that you're going to see, like, in snake montages, combos, clips, etc. You know, grenade into fair or uh, back throw into C4, back throw uh, or up smash into, you know, C4 detonate after the sticky. Now here is definitely something that's different and unique, which is nice. He gets the where is it? The back throw and then throws a grenade, blows up, and he gets the C4. I'm pretty sure all this was a true combo as well, because there is a, a little bit of time where you cannot do anything after the back air. I mean the back throw. So that's and that's obviously what makes back throw into C4 true. So using it with the grenade definitely is a an amazing option and looked really, really nice. Now we got one from Sensei. Sensei's obviously a really good player as well if you guys haven't seen him. Gets a stick, throws a grenade up, cooks a second one. All right. <laughs> that was like almost the same thing. This one was really good. That's definitely, you know, something different. He died at 34. Wow. So he gets that first grenade, and then he throws the other grenade down, 
which causes it to blow up right here. And then he gets the, the C4. Very different, very unique. Good style, and I like it. And now we got one from Hale. Hale, Hale has very good clips, too. I like Hale's clips, usually. I think I've seen this one, too. Okay, beer verse, grenade into the neutral air, dash attack, obviously, you know, the snake setup. Gets a stick. Grenade, grenade, C4. <laughs> Yo, grenade, grenade, C4, just like Sensei. Good music. Oh my god. All right, hold on. He used the gyro to get a stick. So he he gets the so Rob lands right here. The gyro connects. He gets a stick anyways. And I wonder if he was looking for that stick anyways if the Rob was going to shield or maybe if there was a no tech situation, but he gets it anyways. Up smash into the detonate. Very nice. Good music, by the way. See, oh, Nikita, grenade. So he did the Zene Nikita, got the Nikita, gets it into the into the grenade and the free spike. Very nice. Oh, down air. The footstool down air. Sticky C4 up smash. I saw this clip, and what makes this clip so good is the fact that how he teleported right here so he's right here right and then he gets the footstool but he teleports from here to here somehow gets the down air sticky read the rollback shouts of melee into the up smash and then obviously the rest is history not the snurvy oh oh <laughs> That would have been so good if he got that grab right there. Those were good reads all together. So he gets the down throw. Wait, hold on. Go back a little bit. So he gets the down throw. Reads the, the roll back into the nair one. Into the jab. Into the re-grab for him not doing anything. Gets the down throw again. Gets the stick for the roll forward. He rolls backwards. Doesn't get the grab. Unfortunate. If he got the grab there, that would have made the clip like 10 times better. But it's still a good clip. Gets a back throw into the um, into the C4. C4 stick and then C4 again. Nice. Stick. Nikita grenade into C4. Nice. These are very different. <laughs> the panic roll. Oh. Footstool into the up tilt. Nice. It's not every day you see, you know, footstool combos out of Snake unless, like, you're watching Havoc, but Hale is also very good at, at getting those down. As you can see, Stick tries to get the up smash. Waits anyways and still gets it because K. Rule has that big body. That was a good combo, and he didn't do anything. He didn't do nothing, and he got hit by this forward air. So, uh, fair, grenade, double jump, down air. And then the K rule doesn't choose any option, and he gets hit by the forward air. There, Nikita, grenade, stick. Always got to be careful here. Grenade into the C4. Very nice. You can see, like, how much he covered, too, which was so good. Like, how he just held him in that corner. So he's got the grenade. The up smash, he's dropped that grenade. DDD grabs it. Grenade explodes into the C4. Nice. This one's from Aduka Ted. All right, Aduka Ted, what do you got? Let's check it out. Okay, back throw. Gets the stick for air dodge in. Very nice. That was a good read. That was a really good read. So, like, you know, like, usually, like, with Snake, we don't want to be off stage, so we, we're going to air dodge in. Uh, whether it's towards ledge, ledge or just on stage in general. And, you know, Ted getting the stick with the reed, rolls back, goes for the up smash. And then this snake went for a nair, but he didn't position it correctly. So he didn't get nair one out at all. Gets punished with the up till up smash into the detonate. Very, very nice. All right. Next caller, Mr. Havoc, the man with all the sauce. And... 
All right. <laughs> this one was on me. Uh, this was this is me actually. So, <laughs> of all the clips he posted, he decided to post the one with me. What? So, all right. This guy's funny. So, um, I I will say, you know, just to kind of uh. Uh, for educational purposes like when you get clipped i wouldn't say to think nothing bad of it like whether you got put in a highlight reel or whatever it's definitely like a learning experience to understand like why you got put in the combo and what exactly you could have done to get out of it so it's all a, a good learning experience so as an example I'll, I'll let it play out he f tilts me i back air him for using up smash he tries to back air me back for grabbing ledge as a two frame i go for the f smash i get fared stuck up smashed and then dead so the main thing that you can look at just by judging this clip is one i i did a good job back airing him uh to punish him for actually using the uh the up smash that's a good get off me tool as well so that way he's not like hovering over this ledge i just want him to get away from me as much as possible um now the biggest mistake here is using the f smash and i learned Mainly that, like, you don't necessarily want to go for, like, a really hard call-out um, against, like, someone that's an extremely good player or even a pro player in general. So I go for the F-Smash thinking that he's just going to panic uh, neutral get up, And obviously that didn't work because he, he realized that immediately with, uh, with good reaction time. He jumps, lands the forward air, and then he stuck me. And for me not choosing a tech roll option... I end up right in front of him still, so he gets the Nair 1. I mash out Nair to try to Nair him back, which I shouldn't have done. As you can see, like I was in that Nair landing lag animation, and then I get up smash into the into the C4. So good stuff from Havoc for, for doing that. But I definitely learned that you don't want to go for like hard call outs and um against like people that have like really good reaction time and stuff like that. Now we got E Bag. E Bag's Luigi. All right, so he's down two stocks. Gets him with the down B. All right. Let's see how we do it. Are we going to see Zero to death? Zero to grab. Luigi stuff. Oh, the no tech into the up B. All right, so that's good. I, I like when Luigi's don't necessarily just do zero to death nonchalantly. Like, if they pull like an 80, 90% combo or something like that, that was a good remix as well. That was a really good, like, like right here, the down tilt causing the trip, and then he gets the re-grab. That, that makes this zero to death, like, a lot better. And then the rest is just, you know, basic Luigi zero to death stuff. So we have one from Prez, Big Papa Pat. So this is a doubles. I'm suggesting we're going to see, like, a... Uh, a two versus one comeback. All right, the down air. I mean, grenades around C4 for Mewtwo not doing anything. It's like they're just taking turns at him. Air, he's dragged off stage. Up smash. And then the C4, and they both weren't paying attention. Again, the Mewtwo gets hit by the C4 and loses the stock for it. Dash attack into the spike for not doing anything. Good 2v1 comeback. Thanks. Okay, dash attack, F smash, down air, calling out the up B. Grenade. Oh, that is good. That is so good. Reverse fair is like the most pleasing thing to land in my opinion. So he calls out the, the up B with the down air. I don't know why the Link decided to go for an up B there. He was like already at ledge. But he gets hit by it anyways. Drops the C, drops the, the grenade. Obviously Link's up B is going, if it collides with it, it's going to blow up. And he goes for the reverse fair and ends his life. Nice, nice. I really like that one. That's a good one. Oh, this is Young Hentai. This guy's from uh, from my region, I believe. Up till up air, back air, back air, back air, up B. That's it. That looked very brawl esque, in my opinion. 
the nair back air back air up b it just reminds me of brawl when i see that the ending this is from i freaking chicken i freaking chicken oh uh, this guy's from my region as well so up air back air and the tipper f smash that was really nice he died at like what before hit he was at 42 he died at 42 that is insane side b <laughs> It extended the hitbox for the gyro from the gyro. I had cooler ones, but I lost them in the update. This is from uh, Hot Nug. Shouts to Hot Nug. Okay, crash bomb. So oh, <laughs> he forced the shield break with the razor blade, the up tilt, the crash bomb, and the pellets from earlier. Wow, here goes a snake one. All right, razor blade, pellet, grenade. Man, if he if he converted off of that grenade, that would have been sick. Right here. The grenade. And then, like, at this point, if he was closer and he went for, like, a down air, that would have been nasty. This one is from Brady, SSBU. No snake. Nice. Again. Beautiful. Okay, down tilt, up tilt. Down tilt, up tilt. Nair for not teching into the down air. Really nice. That was beautiful. Not only that, but this down tilt went right under his up tilt. Little Max up tilt. That is interesting. Up throw. Goes for the stick. One one thing to, to note as well. Um, is that like up throw on certain characters, if they're like really light, normally it just forces them into a tech situation. It's, and in that case, you can't get the up throw up tilt. Uh, so I like how he recognized that and just went for a stick instead. And then he gets the up air, down air, and the down air extended Bayonetta's um, hurt box to where the up smash connected, and then he got the C4 detonate on her. Nice. Good stuff to cough. Yo, he's hacking. He's got a shadow skin on. All right. Nair. Up B, up air. Side B. Caught the jump, caught the jump and went for the up B, up air and killed him. That was a good read. That was nice. Good stuff to like him. Me and Best Mustard Schmoove went 3 2 in that one bracket, but we Schmoove is doubles again. Very interesting. I did not expect to see doubles clips. <laughs> He's getting put in the loop. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? He had a stock that whole time? His friend had enough. Like, after all this, the, his friend had enough and was like, all right, I got to put an end to this. And then he... But then the Incineroar gets killed by back throw side B. Okay, here's my real clip from... I'm a lead sit. Okay, Tornado. Looking for the grab. Side B. Grab. Nair. Side B. Oh, no. Oh, the footstool. Oh, he didn't get the spike, but he got the grab. Oh, my. Okay, that was... That was... That was... There was so much going on. Oh, my God. Ice Climber stuff is so nasty. So, he basically got put in the loop, and then he got footstooled, and then he froze him, and he tried to go for the fair spike. Didn't get it because he was still frozen. Air dodged in. Read the air dodge with the grab, etc., etc., into Nana of B. All right. My biggest combo yet. So happy I got this on Legacy Smash HN stream. This is from Seki. All right, what's he going to end with here? Is it a zero to death? Zare, grab. Okay. Basic Luigi stuffs into up airs, though. Nair into the tornado. That's a... That was a good remix. I like that. With the up air strings and then just land, uh, going in for the Nair into the down B. That was super nice. Miyagi Do, Lauren, up till attorney. Okay, looking to get him off the platform. Dash attack. Dash attack lands. Sticky. Up smash. Detonates. Doesn't kill. <laughs> Cypher up air is like so funny to me. I love it. And the reverse fair. What's great about this clip is that like 
he gets the stick, right? And then all this stuff is basic right now, right? Like I said earlier, up smash and to detonate right here. Notices it doesn't kill. Double jumps, up bees to chase him all the way up. The other snake dropped a C4. Very, uh, you know, that's just um, a common snake option. He drops a C4. He's fully open right as, uh, right as he comes up with the cypher into up air. Beautiful. All right, now we have half-baked. Okay, this is also a uh, a non-snake clip. Nice. Forward air. It's power dunked. I'm not sure who he's playing. Okay, side B. Oh, that was very, very good. That was so smooth how it happened, too. The side B, forward air, falling up air into the rest. That was really nice how everything just, like... It, like, it went together so smoothly. All right. Dare four, grab Nair one into the grenade up tilt. Very interesting. If the grenade had a little bit more time to explode, he could definitely have gotten a double jump up air as well. And that would have been very clean. All right, that was from Painted You. Make sure you guys, uh, if you guys have Twitter, you know, feel free to follow these guys for more clips if you like what you see. Okay, so this is a wolf fox. Down throw, dash attack. Forward air for not teching. Down air into the... <laughs> that was so good. Okay. Forward air. Down air. For... Like he knew he was going to land right here. Wow. That's so... That's so good. That is so good. Down air into the down smash. Oh my god. I like that. I like that one a lot. Now we have Slothy, 777. Side B from the Falco, Nair into up tilt, Nair again. All right, so this is probably the Falco. He's using the Falco. I like that air dodge read. Like he predicted the air dodge and then went for the neutral air. Down tilt, down air, looking like melee. Up tilt, back air. Oh my. Okay, I did not expect the down air to actually beat Ike side B. So that was really, really good. That What an ending. Falco combos are really cool to watch for me. This is from Apollo Kage. Yo, shout out to Apollo Kage. Guy's awesome. I miss Yeti. So this is from Yeti, the, uh, the Mega Man player. Okay, Nikita goes low. <laughs> oh my. That is crazy. Okay, so in this matchup, Mega Man's only like Mega Man only has two options that's gonna hit Snake out of Cipher, and that's forward air and down air. And in this case, I like how Apollo Kage decided to recover low in this case, so he couldn't get forward air. So this forces um, Yeti that he was gonna look into getting the forward air for the kill to just finish him. Now he has to go ultra low because of it. Uh, so now. It, He's at this point where he has to land the hit or he's just dead. Misses the forward air. Nikita lands. And then the cypher just happens to be there as he as Apollo Kage is gonna look into C4ing himself. And no one's gonna expect this tech, man. If if you like if you actually expect this tech, that's that's just crazy. But like to the um to the average person, you know, they're not they're never gonna expect a tech from a cypher. Of any <laughs> all right no comment dragon the destroyer coming in next okay we got a yoshi versus a fox air down air the no tech jab one down till down till Oh my. That was such good off stage. The forward air into the into the nair into another forward air. Like something like that. Like Dragon definitely shows that he has really good control of Yoshi. Let's look at this one too. Let's see what else he's got for us. Back air, nair, down air, the jabs, forward air, nair, into another forward air. That must maybe that's like a Yoshi thing. Forward air nair into another forward air. Maybe that's how Yoshi works. 
All right, now we got Pocket. Pocket's a really good player. Uh, I assume he's using the Joker. Back air. Down throw. Oh my. What a drag down. The down air. Misses the grab, gets the back air though. Down throw, drag down, up air, into the down air. That was very, very clean. Okay, so he's the Sheiks because he's down a whole stock. Nair. Nair again. Looking for the up smash. Good dash attack. Oh my god. Alright, he made it. Good down air into the up air. Okay. He tried to go for that bouncing fish uh, air dodge in option 2 earlier. Nair, up tilt, back air. Forward air, up tilt. Bouncing fish? Yep. That was beautiful. It's so It looks so satisfying to see bouncing fish combos. We have another Sheik. Pascal? I hope I said your name right. Let's see what the Sheik has. Needles. The drag down into another drag down. Oh my god. He used the platform. Is that hazards on? That's hazards on. We don't judge. But that was crazy. The bouncing fish again. Very nice. From Denji, otherwise known as Drainsaw. Shout out to Drainsaw. Nikita. Alright, he gets a kill for the no-tech. F-tilt. Nair. Oh, the big read. And the Nikita again. Obviously, like, it's not, like, any form of, like, true combos or anything like, anything like that, but he had, like, really good read options. Such as, like, the, uh, the bouncing fish whiffing into the F-smash that he gets off. And then just, like... The hard read for him to go down, for him to, to go so low, and then getting the Nikita on him. That was really nice. Good Nikita usage as well. Let's take a look at his other one, since it's a short one. Down tilt, off stage. That grenade's going to blow up. He could have gotten a down air right there, but he ended up getting an up tilt anyways. <laughs> That is not something you see every day. Like the runoff platform forward air for perfect timing and positioning right here. Boom. That was beautiful by using that top platform. Now we have one from Unlucky. Grenade. Okay, the neutral air landed anyways. Trying to go for a grab down tilt. Dude, down tilt is so good for Sashik. Down smash read. Down tilt. Works again. Back air read. Oh my god. There's a lot going on in this clip. And there's like a lot of good stuff happening as well. He had the grenade on ledge. And the Sheik wasn't respecting it. So he was expecting the grenade to blow up. And then go for the neutral air. For the regular combo obviously. Uh, the usual suspects. And the Nair still landed. And then... He started using down tilts, which was calling out Sheik's options. Down tilt is really, really good in the matchup. It covers a, it, it like has the ability to just beat beat out Sheik's options when she's jumping in at you. How I deal with the Falco matchup from Drip. Up tilt, back air, gets hit by his own grenade. Right, the up smash into the stick. That was very good. Like me, like the way that snakes think. Like how we all think differently is very uh very interesting as well. So he goes so he goes for this F smash and this grenade is here. And it stalled him a little bit just to um just to get hit by that grenade. And then at this point, a double jump nair would have definitely connected here, or like a double jump down air even. But um I like how he chooses the up smash option instead. He doesn't tech, chooses the up smash option, goes for a beer reverse stick. Up smash lands because he chose a get up attack option, so he was stuck in lag. And then that's just a free detonate. That was very nice. Very uh, different way of getting the up smash into the C4 detonate. So good stuff. All right, so we're going to check out this one from Slushy. Sl sh shout out to Slushy. All right, gets the down air. He panic up bees. Gets the stick. Gets a, it's back on Slushy now. Oh, that was so good. 
That was so good. It's not every day you see a ledge trump to re-stick someone into the back air and then gets to detonate. Now, he could have obviously gotten out of it, but um, that was a very clean setup that he had. Very nice. Very clean. He's got a second one we can look at real quick, too. Alright, he's just moving around. Nice back air. For the up tilt gets punished. Down tilt. Grab, down throw. What do we got? Sticky. Is he going to back throw? No. To the up smash. That was really good. I like how he went for more. So, like, usually in this case, you know, we get the stick and then we get the grab and we're just going to go for a, uh, a back throw detonate just to get, like, damage as much as possible and all that other stuff. But um, I like how he went for the down throw again and then reads the rollback. Squirtle's face. That is disgusting. Gets the up smash into the detonate. Very clean. This is from H2O Brad. Hi, Swiss. I've been following your content since the beginning of Ultimate and gotta say that I appreciate all you've done to push the snake meta. Here's some clips for your next video. Thanks for liking my content, H2O Brad. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so this is against a K rule. F tilts him off stage. Grenade. Man, if he went for a forward air right there, that would have been crazy. Okay, he's, he's really covering the ledge. That is so nice. And gets it anyways. The grenade into the forward air. Nice. That was very good. He's got another one. Let's watch it. All right, this is against Samus. Okay, grenade. It's the... <laughs> Did that grenade explode? Oh, no. He jumped into the Nikita. He jumped right into it. That was really nice, though. I like the setup that he had going on, too, though. So he drops this grenade down. Light throws the other one. It's there. And then the Nikita's right there as well, covering the jump option. And it's it's very good to, to, to have grenades like that, like do grenade setups like that for characters that have an up B, sort of similar to like Samus and has like a hitbox, so that way it'll trade. That was very good. We have one for MJ Lou. Let's turn that down. Okay, gets the up smash. Doesn't kill. The box? The... <laughs> no way. No way. Okay, hold on. So first off, Donkey Kong's size is the reason this, this actually worked. But he takes the box off. Donkey Kong chooses a get-up attack option. Gets hit by the box because his fist was right there. Or his arm. And then the C4 is hanging out right here otherwise known as Snake's Wallet. He tries to go for the... He goes for the detonate. He tries to air dodge away, but Donkey Kong is so big he cannot escape it, and he still gets hit. That's a funny one. I like that one. Funny and clean. Apple is also another good Snake player as well. Let's see what we got. So we got another Samus. At tilt. He's off stage. Oh my. Oh my god. What? That was so good. It's good to have like grenade setups like that because Samus's up B will collide with grenade, causing you to get like a free follow-up or whatever. But um he took it to the next level of style by just jumping off with the grenade in hand. The up B activates, the grenade causes a trade, they blow up into this first grenade that was already here. And then the back air just came out faster than whatever other option Samus was trying to choose. And he gets the kill. We'll watch both for him. Alright, he's off stage right now. Light throws grenade. Grenade connects. Down air. Nair for not choosing an option. Oh my. <laughs> he went for the... Wait. Down air right here. The wolf chose no option, allowing him to get this neutral air. So now he's over here. And then Apple jumps and gets another Nair. That is insane. I can't zoom this in, guys. It's a GIF or a GIF. Which one do you guys... Do you guys call it a GIF or a GIF? Good option. So he, he throws him off stage. Nikita doesn't work. Quickly cancels and grabs him. Nikita again for the same option. Up smash. F smash read for him choosing a get up attack. Foxes, Fox and Falco's get up attacks, like 
are really far like they launch their body really far so he just ended up getting hit for it and then we have one from Leneth. only if i had the confidence to play like this in bracket okay so we got a ridley this guy's pretty much combo food good option coverage the down throw grenade back air covering everything down tilt into the up smash for them DIing in. This part's my favorite. He gets the, the down throw. Grenade is covering back roll. And he jumps to avoid any form of get up attack, which obviously happens. And then he has the back air here, which beats out that option. Obviously, it'll punish that option. Uh, also, if he rolls forward, back air kind of has that hitbox where it should cover forward roll as well, depending on spacing. So he get and then the grenade just happens to blow up. So grenade into the back air, into the dash attack for him choosing a uh, air dodge option. That was very nice. Here's a minute long montage I made on the smash editing thing. Okay, let's take a look. Down air, down tilt. Wow, the forward air for reading out the uh, nade one frame the nade frame one nade option. How did that land? Wait. <laughs> he was so high up from the C4 and it's still connected. Look at this. He's like right here and the C4 is down here. Interesting. All right, now we got a Charizard. Forward air, up tilt, true combo. The shield. Not able to convert. And he dropped the shield. Grenade. Up tilt into the up smash. Back throw, grenade into up air. Nice, of course. Grenade into up air again. Down tilt, grenade. Look, wait. I like how he waited for the up air. Like he waited for a panic option. Notice the Mewtwo didn't do anything and just went for the up air, anyways, for him not choosing an option. C4 into the spike. What? And he... I feel like that... I feel like the Zelda DI'd, DI'd in for that spike, so that way it worked. I'm not sure yet. But that was clean. Grenade into Nikita. Back air. Up smash. Down tilt. Down tilt again. Oh my god. Choose, he chose no option again. And the forward air just happened to be there. All right. And I think that's all of them, actually. Okay. Nice. I'll watch the other ones uh, at my own time. And I'll definitely like them once I do. But uh, thank you guys so much for posting clips and sharing clips with me. I'll try to be more specific next time just to make it like one clip instead of like montage, like whole montages and stuff like that, too. But um, I really hope you guys learned something and you enjoyed watching my reactions on these clips. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do another one of these. And we definitely will. But uh, thank you guys again so much. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye now. Never duplicate you, never multiply two. Everyone copy your pace, mask all up in on their face. This is fantasy and be haste. They are cool with their complaints. Uh, uh, uh. You feel it in you? Then you brush it off you. It's significant, but you got something we want. And your whole life is a taunt. Cause you will not just comply. Waking up for your day.